Surprise, surprise guys, today I'm with a new Dacia Spring Comfort Plus full electric version 2022 model and in this video I will make the full review interior exterior so at the end of this video you will find out everything about this new Dacia Spring electric first of all guys if you're new on my channel just click the subscribe button to see all the new videos notification that will come on my channel also if you want to see the test drive with this new Dacia Spring subscribe to the channel guys to see the notification when the video will come out it will come next days for sure so guys we will start as always with the technical data and then I will go outside and then inside and I will show you and we will talk about all the material quality and everything inside this car. So first of all, as I said before, I have the Dacia Spring Comfort Plus version and at least here in Switzerland at Gallicar Auto guys also I will leave the link in the description if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland you want to test drive the car you want to see the car you want to buy it you will have the link in the description to Gallicar Auto also tell them you see my video you come from me and you want a discount and you will get it guys first of all guys I want to give you the price so here in Switzerland it's 21,140 francs I will add also the price on the screen in dollars so you can make an idea and also I have to tell you that the car come also with metallic color included and also with the fast charging included so not bad in my opinion for an electric car before we go forward guys I want to tell you also that the car weight it's 1031 kilograms and the consumption is 40 kilowatt hour this is the estimated consumption of course more than sure this consumption can be done only in the city at low speed the car has a front permanent magnet motor in the front that's something to keep in mind it's a front Front wheel drive the power of this electric motor it's 45 horsepower it's a very limited power car so in my opinion it's most suitable for city driving so guys if you think about city driving electric car this Dacia Spring might be one of the best option for you so 45 horsepower 125 Newton meter permanent magnet motor in the front it comes with a one speed direct drive as uh, you probably know almost all the electric cars have one speed i think only audi e-tron gt have two speeds i'm not sure i don't remember really well anyway the range of the car vltp 230 kilometers but in my opinion you can do around 150 kilometer in the city for sure i'm not sure in the winter time then the car come with a battery lithium battery 27.4 kilowatt hour is the capacity also you can charge the car with maximum power in dc 30 kilowatts so you can do 80 percent charging in around 42 minutes so it's a little bit longer but if you charge it at night at home or at work i think it's just uh, perfect anyway the top maximum speed 125 kilometer 0 to 119 point one seconds so you need a little bit of time to get there the ground clearance 15.1 centimeters also the car come with ventilated brake discs in the front and drum brakes on the rear and also the rims of the car 14 inch so it's pretty small guys also the front suspension Seudo McPherson and also the rear suspension hush axle coil spring so guys don't expect that something incredible high class it's more like a very small small city car so I think this is the purpose Dacia want to give to this spring when I look at the numbers and when I look at the technical data also the trunk space 290 liters and if you fall down the seat 620 liters also pretty limited the turning radius it's although good for the city 9.6 meter this is really really good I think I give you the most important information about the car technical data now let's go outside and then we will go inside and in the end I will make a conclusion about the car so yeah let's go guys all right guys so let's start with the beginning with a key this is the key a simple very simple key classic old key so it's nothing fancy nothing new here you can expect something extraordinary it's just a simple key that you can lock and unlock the car that's something to keep in mind also the car doesn't come with electronic folding mirror so you have also two reserve key now that's something to keep in mind now let me put the key inside and then i will turn on the lights and we will make a tour around the car all right guys so now let's start with the exterior design 
First of all, I want to make a tour around the car so you can see a little bit better the lines, the shape of the car. In my opinion, it's very similar from the back with Dacia Sandero. So it's kind of classic for Dacia to keep this shape and signature in terms of design. And if I have to be honest guys i'm not a big fan of the shape at least from the side but the front design although it's quite nice the back it's quite okay but guys another thing when i see the car for the first time i was thinking it's much bigger than it is but it's actually a very compact car it's like a polo like a volkswagen polo but a little bit higher the ground clearance it's higher and that's something that I have to say that I like very much, at least in the countries where the roads are not so good, this is a great, great thing, guys, to have a, a, a higher ground clearance, even though the car is in a mini compact class. The front of the car, as I said before, I like it very much. I don't know why. Maybe because the car comes with this nice kind of crystal design on the front grill here. I don't know how can I explain you, but it has a very nice, I love the grille. I hope they will use it also on the other models. It's unique, it's nice. I love the front grille. This is something to keep in mind. Here you have also Dacia logo um, that looks relatively nice. It's not the new logo, it's also still the old logo. Then going to the lights here, the only LED light is the daylight that you can see it here in the middle. Other than that, you have the blinkers turning signals, normal halogen light, the high beam, the low beam, also normal halogen light. I was expect a little bit of LED, but I guess it's okay for this price. Some orange insertion here, the bumper, it's quite okay. Also in the front look nice. I was impressed to see that the car come also with a radar for adaptive cruise control, I should say, probably emergency brake and all that safety features. Also you have some air intakes here that allow the air to go inside there to cool down the battery and the system probably but other than that some kind of plastic black here the front is nice also the hood is nice with the lines i like the hood here also we have only one springer for water and another thing that was impressed me when i see it is this wiper i mean it's it looks so old man why why is this old design of wipers i see it on dacia 10 years 15 years ago so that that was something that i wish to be different but yeah i can complain in this price range here we have something that i like very much this plastic around the wheels are very useful and also here it protect the paint in time you will not see rust in this area so that's a good thing that's a thing that i like very much uh, but i wish it was also extended in this area here we don't have that plastic it's just the normal paint of the car that's something that i wish i should see also here in this area also the battery i don't know if you can see it there the battery it's also under the car there guys like the most electric cars here in this area we have this electric uh, writing and then we have this orange insertion and some kind of sticker on the door so it's no plastic guys it's just a sticker here that's something to keep in mind behind it is just the door then going to the mirrors i like very much the mirrors although uh, you have led lights blinkers on the mirror orange mirrors uh, on the other side you have pretty big mirror so you have good visibility from the interior around the windows here you have also this kind of a black plastic around the windows so nothing fancy a little bit of rubber up here uh, but everything it's very simple even the doors handles guys they are classic for Dacia the same handles as you find it on Duster for example the doors quality you can hear it for yourself I can say is the best it's okay they are okay they are fine they are classic for Dacia uh, we are used with this kind of sound. Then going on the roof here, we have radio antenna, the bigger, uh, the same as on the duster. We have these roof rails where you can add some extra storage if you want to. I think they are nice and they are practical. Also with some orange insertion. You have here this roof spoiler that it's quite nice. It looks nice. It has a nice lip right here. Uh, and then also you have the brake light inside there, inside the window. Uh, also the water and the wiper right here in the back and also you have defrosted window in the back really good for the winter this is a good uh, feature also you have the Dacia logo you have a reverse camera right here in the middle of the Dacia logo then guys if we look at the lights in the back the same story no LED light here uh, just a normal halogen light for taillights halogen light for blinkers for reverse light 
and for the fog lamps as well. So yeah, that's something to keep in mind. The fog lamp is down here, guys. This is the fog lamp and the light for the number plate as always. Also, it's normal halogen light. Yeah, I wish it was different. No LED lights in the back. Spring logo here, some chrome design insertion and electric logo, so you know it's an electric car. Other than that, some light reflectors here. And yeah, this is the bumper. We have only three sensors in the back for the parking. Then you have some plastic, some gray plastic down here. And other than that, this is the back of the car. Very simple, very, very incredible simple. It uses a lot of materials, uh, like cheap materials, as you say. Uh, that's why the car is also so affordable. But if you need a practical car, the, the purpose of this car is to move you from point A and point B. And if you can do this as cheap as possible, then it's perfect. I mean, it's great. Here is the charging port and here is the hood. Let's, let's open both of them and let's go there. Let me close actually the lights. Let's save some energy. Let's save, save the planet. Okay, great. Close the door. Here is the charging port right here in the front. It's open this beautiful, beautiful front grille. I like it very much. And here you have the charging. This is the AC and this is the DC direct current. You can charge it as, as I said, with 13 kilowatt hour maximum in around 42 minutes, 80%. So this is the charging port in the front, quite nice. And also I like how nice it opens this front part right here and it's easy to close it. Now, let me show you the hood. Ah, yeah right here it's a manual lift gate here in the front uh, also it has some insulation very good insulation for the electric motor and this is the electric motor wow it's so much space here i think they can do in the future somehow a protection a plastic protection here and then some storage space because here you can put you can make a, a maybe 20 centimeter storage space or maybe 15 centimeter storage space and you can hide this uh, electric motors and component behind it and here it's also the 12 volt battery and the electric motor and electric components here wow it's so simple this car man i think you can work on it super simple you can repair it super simple and you can change the components incredible easy so wow i mean wonderful really wonderful dacha keep and here is the wiper by the way the liquid for the wipers. Dacia still keep that easiness of changing the pieces. Probably will be very easy, very cheap to change the battery and also change the motor and all that stuff in the future when everybody, every service shop will be able to repair electric cars. So that's, that's interesting. Now the button is here for open the trunk. Look how interesting it is. Really, really interesting. And in the same time you open it up, of course, manual lift gate. Uh, here you have this handle, I, I should say, or uh, to close it. Then you have this protection for the trunk. I will get it out in a second. Then you have here no plastic. It's directly the paint of the car. So you can see the way it's made here. It's made super raw. I should say this is a raw car. It's for the first raw electric car that I see until now. And then the big big trunk i didn't expect to be so big in my opinion the entrance is not so big you can see the entrance it's kind of tight on the side but it is big when you go inside here it's, it's quite big you can put a lot of stuff here so for the city it's it's great you have also this cable that come with the car ac cables some stuff that comes also with the cars right there and then under the floor here you have a spare tire what didn't expect to have so much space i didn't see that it's for the first time when i opened this also this one here it's very easy to open it up it's just like that one second you can take it out and let me take this out let me show you the seats with it folded down i just take out that protection and you can look one more time here in the back the way it looks and it's relatively big entrance big entrance and look at this guys if you want to fold down the seats you have only one option you you don't have that split seats you know like you have it in another normal car you you have to fold it all completely at once so that's something new i never see that before maybe on the old very old cars but look at this you fold it completely uh, from one part so other than that it's quite big wow it's such a small car it's such a big space 
it's impressive how big space it is after you fold it down and yeah you can make a better idea uh, from these angles i hope you can see it really well i hope you can understand i like it very much really i like the way it is it's very deep here i have like four 30 centimeter i think and then a lot of space a little bit of uh, 10 to 15 centimeter i think 10 centimeter you have here uh, kind of a step but other than that you can fit in here uh, plenty of stuff man it's not bad almost almost 90 degrees go inside here big space and one more time you can see one more time the space there relatively big in my opinion for the size of the car it's big not relatively big it's really big and you still have some storage space down here and uh, flat floor almost a flat floor so no transmission there and this is another plus for the car but yeah it's really interesting i like it it's not bad i like it i didn't expect to have so much space there in the back so yeah great job Dacia let me put everything back and let's go inside the car all right guys so now here on the door you have a big window this is something that I like very much and also you can fold the window like this this is maximum you know it's still left here a little bit but although it's quite practical then on the upper side you have some plastic in this area then you have some chrome insertion I like it I like the design very much but Keep in mind that all the door it's made by plastic the design is not bad but yeah it is what it is guys you have electric window you have handle you can lock the car in the old school way yeah it's nice going inside here big entrance that's something that i like and a lot of space here for the size of the car in the back you have relatively good space also you can see the seats you have leather seats i love the quality of the seats i don't know why i'm not sure which kind of leather vegan leather it is i didn't check before but the way it feels it feels really really good also you have the the headrest and i like the fact that you don't have a plastic on the side so you should have a good comfort here and i like also these orange stitches they look nice and also the fact that it's flat here probably even if you stay in the middle there you will have a good comfort even here because you don't have uh, armrest or stuff like that you will have a good good uh, position right there in the back also you have isofix for child you can install two child seats here that's good and behind the front seat you have soft material stuff material some storage space there let me go inside let me go inside it's super noisy outside closing the door these guys make a lot of noise there with the car with the wash and I, i'm impressed i mean the the noise inside the car the noise insulation yeah it's good not bad great job you have also a handle here the position on the seats it's okay not the best not the worst it's okay the visibility also it's it's fine i i see really well in this area but here it's it's a little bit uncomfortable maybe because of this area because of your head but you can go a little bit like this in the left side because you don't have that um, side support you can also go a little bit uh, in the middle so yeah it's not bad if i go with the knee a little bit in the front i will be okay um, let's see the space over my head i have four fingers almost five pretty good and the knee space it's like three fingers here guys here's four yeah let me go let, let me go into my back yeah i have four fingers four fingers i can stretch my legs under the front seat that's a good thing it's not bad and you can see one more time the seat's position in the front there i want to show you now it's kind of a normal position there guys it's my driving position and this is normal position and this is the space it's relatively fine for city is more than perfect here in the middle the transmission tunnel is inexistent it's not here and there's nothing here it's just yeah a space where you can put your legs for example or wherever i like that this is good also here you can see the space three fingers four fingers um, space on my head three four fingers almost i can stretch my hand mm, not so much here as well not so much uh, but it feels nice to be here because you have no armrest or stuff like that and it's it's really comfortable i like it here i like this the quality of the seats are really good this is something that i like let's go in the front guys 
uh, the upper part I, I noticed that the upper part is much much uh, higher much taller so that's why you have a good space up there maybe for tall people will be not so comfortable here in the back uh, but we will go in the front we will talk about the things in the front there also if you look at the dashboard design it's nice it's nice it's kind of classic typical for Renault it looks a little bit like a Renault dashboard yeah we will talk about multimedia we will talk about the things in the front there yeah most of the dashboard if not all it's made by plastic but the design is relatively fine anyway let's go in the front we have a big window from one pieces that allow you to have a great visibility in the mirrors on the upper side in the front plastic we have the same chrome kind of chrome silver design handle here in chrome yeah the quality it's okay not the best uh, but okay and then most of actually all the door is made by plastic guys you don't have any soft material in this area so yeah i tell you what you can expect when you see the car here you have huge space this is big uh, the storage space but it is what it is guys also the door it's pretty tiny so you can see it's relatively tiny uh, for city it's great at low speed it's it's really perfect anyway uh, going inside here you can see the seats oh I sit on them and they are super comfortable the quality is good uh, the design is good also you have side support they are big enough long enough so the quality on them the seat it's, it's okay not the best but it's relatively fine you can see it also from the close up a little bit uh, they are manual adjustable so you have to adjust it manually from here and here then you have two pedals normal pedals there and then you have those you see it already then you have the the lights position uh, and then going up you have electric adjustable uh, mirrors then you have lock the windows the the parking sensors are here then you have the a little bit up keep in mind that here also it's plastic everywhere it's plastic on the dashboard uh, then if you go here to look at the vents uh, they are nice they are the same as duster uh, and yeah what can i say let's go inside because it's mega noisy outside closing the door it's much quiet uh, and uh, I can talk better visibility as I said before because you have this big window great visibility in the mirrors nothing to say guys in terms of visibility and the position of driving you have perfect position for the city great visibility around the windows you have also a reverse camera in the back there so you know what you can expect also a big sofa in the back there in leather here you don't have any armrest I wish you have some kind of an armrest here it's very useful but for the city short trips it doesn't matter electric car with manual handbrake again something that i wish it was different have some storage space down here uh, it's okay but yeah i wish it was a little bit different then here you have the gear shifter gear selector i should say and you have drive neutral and reverse and guys you don't have parking button uh, and I probably in the future we don't find we will not, never find a parking button in electric cars look at this for example you put down the hand brakes and when you start the car you have to put it in drive yes and then yeah of course you start it in a classic way with the key inside electric car I didn't expect that but yeah I guess it is what it is but when you want to start look at this you want to start the engine yeah and it says go in n so you have to put it back yes you have to go in n and then you can start the engine look at this press the brake of course and then start the engine okay and now the engine it's on and then you can go in drive for example and drive the car so it's incredible and when you stop the the car you put it in drive yes and then you take the brake and then stop the engine this is the way you you should do it i mean this is the way you should do it so that's something to keep in mind guys let's go forward this is the gear selector you don't have a parking button it's really interesting i learn it i should say it take me a little bit of time it's simple some storage space here for your phone then you have traction control on and off then you have the cruise control guys right here button to activate it and deactivate you can see it's appear on the screen right there and then you have the i don't know what is this guys tell me what is this i don't know what is this button really i don't know why i don't know you have the 12 volt port right here no usb until now so yeah 
I guess is something that's missing. Again, another thing that I notice, you have manual climatic system. That doesn't bother me. I, actually, I like it. I like more manual than automatic. I don't know why. I use also manual, the automatic one, so probably that way. But keep in mind, this is the climatic system. It's a manual climatic system. Then if I go in the glow box, I notice that it's huge. The glow box, guys, it's really big. Uh, I didn't expect to be so big. It's bigger than some SUVs, to be honest. It's really big. I like the vents. I like the design, to be honest. I really like it. I have nothing to say about the design. Then here you have the button for the windows. Keep in mind that the window buttons are here, guys. For you and the passenger, you have the echo button. Let's go in echo mode. So the car will accelerate slowly and yeah, stuff like that. Also, when you are in eco mode, you can see on the screen down there, it shows you that you have, uh, you can still drive 199 km. If you take it off, you have 91. So you can save some energy, some range with this eco button. Lock the car button, blinker button. And if we go a little bit upper, we have this old multimedia system. I was expect to have the new one, but I guess it's okay. Uh, here is the turning on and off, the volume, and then you have a USB port. So this is the first USB port in the car uh, you find it up here on the navigation and also you have an auxiliary port other than that uh, i have already a video with this multimedia system uh, the old one from uh, dacia and here you have the radio the media i don't want to go too much into detail the phone you can connect your phone to bluetooth the map here you can see the map on the screen uh, the map it's relatively fine it's work okay i noticed that almost the same as on Dacia Duster um, and it's great that you have a navigation there navigation also here information and stuff and then you have the settings on the settings you have audio settings display settings connectivity settings system settings you change the language and stuff like that also let's don't forget if you go in reverse you will see a reverse camera that has a good quality in my opinion relatively good quality and I like it. I really like it. Uh, the reverse camera is quite, quite nice. Anyway, uh, going a little bit upper, you have two vents, you have some glossy plastic with some kind of orange insertion on the side. Now, going to the cockpit, guys, we have an interesting cockpit right here. Digital cockpit, yes, where you can see on the left side, you see the power, the charge. You are in neutral right now. And on the other side, you see how much battery you have. Uh, in which uh, gear you are and in the middle you have all kind of information about consumption about all kind of stuff uh, speed consumption and yeah whatever the battery status the temperature and how many kilometers have the car and how much range you still have with the car you can see here in the corner then if i go forward on the steering wheel the steering wheel guys it's somehow the same steering wheel as on the Dacia, on the Sandero. The only thing that's different is this grip here. You have this rubber, you don't have leather, it's kind of a rubber. It's a little bit slippery when your hands are sweating. It's a little bit slippery, but it's okay, it's fine. I like the, uh, the design of it. Here you have the cruise control controllers. And here you have the voice command, so hmm, pretty simple. Up here you have a mirror, great visibility in the back. Also you have a microphone and you have some space to put here no mirror and then you have a normal bulb light so halogen light so nothing nothing fancy yeah i guess that was all guys i don't know this this was the review it's a pretty simple car uh the adjustment from the seat it's manual as i said before you have to adjust it manually from here it's simple to adjust it it's nothing complicated and also you can adjust it all the way on the back very simple like that just press just pull this uh, lever here anyway Guys, that was the review with the new Dacia Spring Electric. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get some useful information from this video. I hope it was useful. If it was useful, guys, please give me a like, a share, and also subscribe if you want to see the test drive, if you want to see more information from the newest test cars that will come on the market, just subscribe to the channel to see them. Also, I will leave the link in the description if you live in uh, Switzerland, around Switzerland, in Europe, uh, you want to see the car, you will find it in the link, the price to Garage Gallicor in Bern, also tell them you see my video you come from me and you will get a nicer uh, discount also guys check out our website sdadancar.com there you find a lot of information about cars and videos and stuff like that the rating for this car it's hard to say 
I take into consideration price and I think about quality uh, and I have to say like this guys, the quality inside the car, most of the pieces in the car are cheap. So plastic, hard plastic, it's a practical car. I mean, if you buy this car, you buy it to go from point A to point B in the cheapest way mode possible. So if you buy another electric car from other car brand, for example, ID3, for example, Nissan Leaf, you probably pay double the price. So you can buy two of these cars and you can drive you with your wife and still have money left. Anyway, it's your choice. I tell you, I think it's a good car. My rating for this Dacia Spring 1 to 10, taking into consideration price offers, will be 9.5, okay? This is the rating for it. It's a city car, that's my opinion. Uh, you can go outside the city, but I don't think it's recommended to drive uh, at speed higher than 120 km, I should say. That was all, guys. If you still have questions, ask me down below. I will answer to you. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I really appreciate that. Really, thank you, guys. Love you all. Uh, I wish you all the best. I wish you all healthy. And I guess I will see you soon in the next one. So stay safe, guys. Bye.